Good afternoon, everyone. Happy new release day. We've got 2018 Panini Select Football. Love this stuff. Coming at you. 12 box. Pick your team. Number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Got plenty in the store, so check it out. And by early and often, these breaks are kind of long, so if you want to try to squeeze in as much as possible tonight. What is going on here? Did I not? Unbelievable. Doesn't look good. So we've got six boxes right here, and the other six right back there. There you go to make 12. Ah, here's a much better formatted list right here. On the 20th, 12 box, pick your team one. Brand new select football. D. Porter with the Falcons. No, he, sorry. I don't know why last spot mojo was on Darren Porter. The Vikings were the last team. Sorry, Darren. Next time. Vikings were the last team. Jeremy S. with the Vikings. Last spot mojo. And there's everybody else. And remember, it's two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. Now, who do we have here? Do we have people here for this break? Pick your team one. Let's get a quick roll call. Let me know if you're in this break. Let me know what team you have and what hits you're looking for. Nola Cardboard's in this. Lindsey, he's in this. He's looking for a Saints. A lot of Saints hits. There he is, present. Timothy Cole has the Patriots. I see you with the Pats. Nice. Good luck. Michael Blunt with the Buckos. Has his Buccaneers. Steel Curtain, of course, with the Steelers. Uh, I had to cross it out, Darren. Was not official. Sorry. Jeremy S. has the official last spot mojo. Vikings were the last team picked up and picked your team one. Box number one. Good luck, everybody. So stuff like this will ship. That's field level. RCs will ship. Steve Young will obviously ship. 40 to 49. I'm going to set these aside and have our shipping team sleeve and top load those just in the interest of time. There's Dante Hall. Remember Dante Hall to 75? Steve Young goes to the Niners. Lee with the Niners. Dante Hall go to the Chiefs. David Allison with the Chiefs. And your first hit is Dorsey Levens for the Packers. And that'll be for Anthony P. with the Go Pack Go. There's Anthony looking for Aaron Rodgers. We're going to start you off with a Dorsey Levens, though. There's Darius Geis. Wow, nice. Nice Geis. Two-color patch and autograph. 23 out of 25. See that nice, nice... Rainbowy background there. Love it. That will go to Eric Leal and the Red Skins. Nice. Should be. I think was on his way to being a great like rookie fantasy sleeper last season until that injury, but hopefully next year. Or this upcoming year. Jamon Moore to one ninety nine. Jalen Samuels, and we've got a Calvin Ridley. 
23 out of 99. That goes to Darren and the Dirty Birds. Who was gonna who's gonna call in sick because of his this last spot mojo fiasco. He's just like he doesn't know if he can take it. There's Drew Brees die cut. We're gonna sleeve up and top load these die cuts right away just so those edges don't get damaged. This goes to Nola Cardboard, of course. What is that number two again? 27 out of 99, nice. Nick Beeman, so far so good. This is, we only did a half case random team break and this is our first uh, big pick your team break. Full case pick your team break. But so far, so good. There's Kyle Letta, 75. <laughs> You're welcome, Darren. All right, next box. And Billy is reporting that from what Billy has seen, Saquon Barkley is going to be a redemption. What, is Saquon Barkley busy? What's he doing? He didn't have to play in the playoffs. What's he doing in the off season? Nothing. It's going to award shows. You should have time to sign cards. Mr. Barkley, if you're listening. Saquon, if you're listening. Do your fans a favor. Do, do the people, the, these collectors a favor. Sign your cards. Does he have like a dinner table like stacked full of select football cards among other things? <laughs> he must. Riffer says Saquon's busy doing his Jeter thing. <laughs> Bleaching Odell Beckham Jr.'s hair. They're just having, having hair parties. All right. Second box. And wow. For Michael Blunt's Buccaneers, that's Peyton Barber. And it's a train whistle. One out of five, Peyton Barber. Look at that patch. It must be part of the part of the Buccaneers flag or something like that. Woo. Nice stuff. Our first train whistle out of select. For Michael Blunt, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Good start. I might save this and set that aside for picture time. There's Dangerous to 175 for the Seahawks. Kalen Balaj and our first XRC card, second defensive player picked in the draft. This is winner take all on that one. Remember, out of fives and under are the train whistle. There's Travis Kelsey, 12 by 25, autograph for David Allison and the Chiefs. He's a Chiefs guy. There you go, Dave. By the way, if that name sounds familiar, we ask. He's not part of the not part of the Allison Racing family. There's my homies, Patrick Mahomes, 7 out of 99. And Jordan Wilkins to 199. Gilo's a Chiefs guy. Well, you got to yell at Dave. <laughs> you, can, you can yell at David Allison. There's Calvin for taking your Chiefs. Calvin Ridley relic. Another one for Darren Porter. I guess you don't even need last spot mojo, Darren. 82 out of 149. Right, correct, Mike Tower. Not part, not a, not the inspiration for Elvis Costello's Allison. 39 out of 49. Bradley Chubb, that goes to Kevin Smith. Just put that song on the, on the, on the playlist. 
a good song. There you go, Gilo with the angry face emoji. All right, next box. Good luck. So settle in, folks. we got about another 45 minutes or so in this break. And then I'll drop the schedule in the chat again for those of you who are wondering what's next. Nothing's filled up after, uh, after that select um, random team break. So we're going to do pick your team now, all 12 boxes, then select half case, and then by around 6.30 Pacific, I don't think anything sold out yet. Or at least no one said anything. Mark Madison saying down to one in that impeccable full case random number block break. Impeccable basketball is a brand new release too. Got to do at least one of those tonight. I feel like we'll do a few of these and a few of the basketball. I feel like that, that, that'll, that'll make it a pretty good day. There's Philip Lindsay out of 175. There are Philip Lindsay autographs in this too. Lamar Jackson, nice. Purple for the Purple Birds. EA. With the Ravens. I saw Eric a little bit earlier in the chat. There you go, EA. Forty-four out of seventy-five. I like it when the parallel matches the color of the team. The future now. There's Antonio Gates relic. One twenty out of one ninety-nine. That'll be for the bolts. That goes to Got the LA Char Arthur Hackett with the Chargers. Antonio Gates might play another season, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that crazy? He like retired, then he came back and actually was was pretty effective on the field. I don't know if he was that effective like fantasy wise, but reality wise, pretty good. Six out of twenty five. Marquez Valdez Scantling for Anthony P and the Packers. Remember, all of these will be sleeved and top loaded before they get shipped out. Just in the interest of time, we're gonna set those aside. There's Andy Dalton for the Bengals as well. And, ooh, Bill Romanowski, Raiders edition. For my Raiders, Jonathan Best has my Raiders. Nice. 71 out of 75. Gilo says Antonio Gates looks like a uh, retired football player who still plays football. I think that's kind of what, kind of what he is. But still draws defenses and all that sort of stuff. Still scoring touchdowns here and there. 25 out of 25, tie-dye, Kenny G. It's a nice patch. That's a nice auto. Nice parallel. Nice one for Miles Lacey Jr. and the Lions. Kenny G. That's a pretty sexy hit there. Nice. I mean, he's looked pretty. He looked pretty good last season, too. There's Kalen Bellage for the Dolphins to 199. Another die cut, that's Melvin Gordon for the Chargers. That's for Arthur Hackett as well. Thirty-nine out of forty-nine on that one. Next box. Well, folks, mocked draft season is going to start heating up. Um, where does everyone think? Uh, where does everyone think Kyler Murray is going to go? I mean, that's like the the bigger name thus far. It's crazy to think that that will be that this summer we'll start seeing 2019 football products. And it's just another whole slew of rookies that we need, to, we need to learn the names of, what teams they end up on, try to speculate and prospect if they're going to be any good or not.
Ah, well, Miles, you should also follow us on Twitter, at Jaspies Breaks. We always tweet out uh, when we go on air, so you'll be able to check that way as well, but generally around 3 o'clock Pacific. But yeah, just in time for that nice Kenny G. Great autograph, too. Uh, Brandon Thomas says, your Dolphins are in line for... Uh, the Dolphins are in line for Kyler Murray. There's Neam Hines to 199 for the Colts. <laughs> That's right, Nola Carbore. Your, your Saints in pick your team break should be cheap with no first round draft picks. Nice Baker Mayfield tie dye. Five out of 25. And five out of 10, Aaron Rodgers. Nice. Snapshots. Aaron Rodgers for Anthony P. It's a cool looking one. I guess that's, they call this like velocity, right? So maybe gold velocity or something like that. It's a cool looking one. And Cortland Sutton, big jersey and autograph. Oppo Joe Mojo, Kevin Smith has the Broncos. Twenty-four out of thirty-five. Next little bit right here, we've got David and Yoku. Nice red autograph for the Browns. Aaron Fisher on the board with the Browns. Get that nice Baker Mayfield tie dye as well. Thirty-four out of seventy-five. Christian McCaffrey, DJ Left Shark to 199. DJ Shark, doo, 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 doo. Doug Baldwin to 199. Doug Baldwin relic going to the Seahawks. Chris Parent with the Hawks. Brendan Scarlett, Brennan Scarlett. 21 out of 99, the Scarlet Letter going to uh, Jeremy 33 and the Texans. All right, and that was that box. Another one coming up. That's a good question, Gilo. What I th what do I think of this uh, this past year, this recent year's draft class? Well, I think very good. I think some I think some people have been a little skeptical about the way this year's draft class is going to look. It might be slightly, I don't know. Everyone says that every year, and then all of a sudden there's always like a big rookie that'll pop up, you know. But last year's rookie class, pretty good, right? What's up? Chris Hale in the house. I mean, obviously you got Baker Mayfield number one. He delivered. I always want your number one pick to deliver. And he, I, if he played the whole season, he could have been... Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Second pick, Saquon Barkley, real deal, Holyfield, that's good. I mean, even Jets, Sam Darnold, that looks, he looks pretty good too, right? I feel like if they, he's got a new coach, if they build some, uh, if they build around him, keep giving him weapons, he's got to succeed. Denzel Ward for the Browns, looks like a great defensive back. Bradley Chubb looks pretty dangerous on that defensive line for the Broncos. Quentin Nelson, guard, solid. Pro Bowler, right? Josh Allen looked a little up and down. But I think towards the end of the season, I think a lot of people mentioned that that his, uh, his the value of his cards were going up because he was just playing a lot more consistently and just playing a lot better than I think a lot of people expected. I think there are a lot of scouts were were... were saying that Josh Allen was kind of the weakest out of the entire rookie QB class, but I think changed a lot of minds. It's Cortland Sutton. We'll set that aside. That might be turned around because of some sort of variation. But no, Josh Allen really started to, uh, to emerge as well. There's Jamon Moore, 32 out of 49. On a big heavy car sock right there. Two-color jersey and autograph. Anthony P. with the Packers. I haven't gotten down that far on the on the, on the uh, draft list, Billy. We'll get there. 
We'll keep going down the, the 2018 draft class. I'm only on pick seven. Speaking of Sam Darnold, there he is. Sam Darnold relic. 23 out of 149. And that'll be for Preston, who has the Jets. There you go, Preston, on the board. There's Larry Fitzgerald for the Cardinals to 99. There's Sony Michelle to 175 for the Pats. We got Ronnie Harrison for the Jags to 75. There is Christian Kirk for the Cardinals. Five out of 35. Maybe we'll be hearing the call Rosen to Kirk for years to come. Riffer thinks that Rosen may be the second best quarterback by the time all said and done. We've got a nice green David Johnson. Should be out of five. Yes, two out of five. Aaron Fisher with the Cardinals. Aaron. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. And there's J.J. Watt, 32 out of 99, die cut. <laughs> that would be nice, William Fulmer, but I think we have too many cases for me to do in the amount of time here. We only have so many hours in the day. 32 out of 99. J.J. Watt, Texans, Jeremy, 33. All right, we've got the last box of the first half, and then we have the second half coming up right here. Yeah, it'd be too much, AP. I got, I got, I got, I got things to break. I need to, I need to break tomorrow, William Fulmer. I guess if we do everything tonight, I'll just take the day off tomorrow. How about that? Uh, Roquan Smith was pick eight. We're just going down the down the uh, down the list here. Uh, Roquan Smith, I think, was a was a pretty good pick. Big part of that Bears defense. I don't really know much about offensive ta tackle Mike McGlinchey, although we've seen some of his autographs in in these sets. But he was in the nine. Josh Rosen. There's Josh Rosen, tenth overall. New coach. I don't know if we can really judge Josh Rosen by, by last season. Got to give all these young kids at least two, three years, right? But Josh Rosen will have a new coach. Cliff. Cliff King, Kingsbury. So we'll see. We'll see how he, uh, how he handles that offense. All right. I think he's worked with he worked with Patrick Mahomes, right? Or recruited him or something like that. There's a Patrick Mahomes connection there somewhere. There's Jimmy Garoppolo on a 49. If healthy. Niners could be a dangerous team. There's Marcus Mariota to 199. Now EA was saying a little bit earlier, speaking of Rosen, and there's Patrick Chung. 38 out of 50 goes to the Pats. That'll be for Timothy Cole. Uh, EA was saying earlier, what if uh, what if Josh Rosen gets traded to the Giants and Kyler Murray goes to the Cardinals? Could that be? Is that a, is that a crazy thing? There's Lamar Jackson right there too. There's Nick Chubb out of 75, and there's. Chiefs legend Len Dawson to 75. Nice. Michael Eight saying he took the last spot in Impeccable. Looking for that last spot mojo. Nice. Three color jersey and autograph. We're getting a little bit more out of Jamon Moore's autograph as, as the season goes on. Six out of 25 going to Anthony P. and the Packers.
All right, here's the updated schedule in the chat right here. There you go. There you go, Anthony. Out of 25. There's Jared Goff to 175. We got Trey Quinn, rookie auto for Eric Leal and the Redskins. That is 72 out of 75. All right, folks, we are halfway through this full case break. Think about another 25, 30 minutes to go in this one. All right, so just keep going down the draft list here. I think Minka Fitzpatrick, did he do okay? I, I feel like he, he did okay as a, as a uh, safety for the Dolphins. I think Vita Vea was a big, big dude for the Buccaneers defensive line. Deron Payne, I feel like, was a good part of that. Redskins defense. Marcus Davenport certainly looks pretty good. Colton Miller for my Raiders. He did all right. I think the Raiders drafted him a little high at 15. You know, but but he looked he looked pretty good. I think they had to move him around a little bit on that offensive line due to injuries. So I think that, that might have kind of Overcomplicated some things, but it seems okay. Just needs to stay healthy. Tremaine Edmond, I think, looked pretty good. Der Derwin James Der definitely looked great for the Chargers. He was a he was an outside shot at getting Defensive Player of the Year, I think. De defensive Rookie of the Year. All right, that was pick 17. We'll get to pick 18 after this. All right, here we go. Die cut sitting back there. All right. I want to drop that. We got four out of ten. Carson Wentz. Nice. Nice two-color patch. Four out of ten for the Fly Eagles Fly. That goes to Leonard Yance. What do they do with Carson? They're going to keep him, right? They have to. Matt Whitaker saying, I don't I don't understand why everyone thinks that Rosen will be rushed away from the Cardinals. He's going to be solid core. Uh, yeah, I, I think Riffer's right. It's probably just due to the Cliff Kingsbury connection who said that he would draft... He would be worth a number one overall pick, but whether that actually happens or not. 5 out of 99, Russell Wilson. Dangerous die cut for Chris Parent. Nola Cardboard says, put Wentz out to pasture. He's overrated. So they just start over, quarterback position. Stick with Nick Foles for a couple more years and then draft QB. Mason Rudolph. One out of ten. What could you get for Carson Wentz? Someone will pay for Carson Wentz. Running back one. Nice. RB1, the first running back drafted, will be part of that XRC pile. And that is winner take all. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, Giants could use a Carson Wentz. I don't think they'd ever trade to a division rival, though. There's Mason Rudolph, the Red Nose Reindeer Gold, to 10 for Steel Curtain. There's another Patrick Chung jersey and auto this time for Tim Cole and the Pats. See, I don't, I don't think the Giants will, will give that. I don't think division rivals will make, will make that kind of move, that kind of big move anyway. But Jaguars, I feel like the Jaguars could make that move, right? Out of 99, Dante Jaguars. That's right, Seal Kern. That card is gold. There's Ronald Jones the second to 199. There's Deshaun Watson. He's on the front of the box out of 199. Points. 600. That's a lot of points. That'll also be winner take all. I guess we'll do, here's how I'll do it.
So at the end of the break, we'll randomize everybody's names. Name on top, we'll get all of the XRC cards, two so far. And the second name on top, we'll get any and all points, 600 points so far, which is a lot. And you can think that could go towards some of those Kaboom packs that they uh, that Panini has released in the reward store, which actually looks pretty cool. I like that Kaboom inserts that we saw in the basketball. Wow, so Riffer and Lil TS saying that you saw 15,000 points being pulled from a box of select hobby edition? That's kind of crazy. That would get that would get you some kaboom packs among other things. All right, next one. Left off with Derwin James got drafted 17th. Uh, Jair Alexander, how did he do? I don't I don't know, didn't really hear. Saw a lot of his autographs. Didn't see a lot of Jair Alexander, Packers fans. Uh, Leighton Vanderish looked great. That could be future Sean Lee right there. Sean Lee's, all, you know, great, but always struggles with injuries. Don't know what Frank Ragnow or Billy Price did. Rashawn Evans, don't know much about him. Or Isaiah Wynn. DJ Moore got a little, got a little work, perhaps. Hayden Hurst, part of like the 12 tight ends that the Ravens have. There's like a few pass-catching tight ends, a few run-blocking tight ends. There's a lot of tight ends on that team. Um, Calvin Ridley showed some flashes of brilliance. So did Rashad Penny, I guess. There's Terrell Edmonds for the Steelers, I think was okay. Maybe we're mad confusing with Tremaine Edmonds. I don't know the rest of these guys. Taven Bryan, I don't know. Mike Hughes, I don't really know. Sony Michelle won a Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson. Should the should the Patriots have taken Lamar Jackson? To, for, for life without Tom Brady? I don't know. We'll see. Another train whistle. Michael Bennett for the Fly Eagles Fly. Nice patch. Nice autograph. Four out of five for the big defensive end. Going to Leonard Yance and the Philadelphia Eagles. Must be part of like the the wing right there of the Eagle if you look at kind of it this way. Right? Nice. Four out of five. Leonard. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There's Adam Thielen die cut. 69 out of 75. Always nice when the parallel matches the color of the team. Jeremy S. Vikings, last spot mojo. There's Mike White, red to 99 for the boys. We got Marquez Valdez Scantling to 49. Everyone see that video of Cam Newton getting put under before his shoulder surgery? It's kind of it's pretty funny. Carry on Johnson. He's trying to stay awake. He's being put under. He's trying to stay awake and can't. He's like, oh, I can totally stay awake. I can count from 98 or I can count from 100 down to zero. I'll still be awake. No worries. Seventy-eight out of ninety-nine. Robbie Anderson for the Jets. Preston for the Jets. 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 More points. Once again, winner take all on the points. Kind of sneak up on you. Devontae Adams, nice relic in there. 29 out of 50 for Anthony P. and the Packers. Yeah, Nola Carboard needs to see, see more Fleur de Lis. Fleur de Lis coming out of here. And we still have one, two, three, four boxes left. Still plenty of time. There's Gus Edwards for the Ravens to 99. This one is QB2. Who do you think is the second quarterback taken? Is that Kyler Murray? That goes into the winner-take-all XRC pile. That's a pretty good one.
All right. So, yeah. So, Gilo had asked when I thought about the 2018 draft class. Just the first round alone, I think, is... Is pretty solid, you know. Riffer also saying that hey, overall that 2018 class is kind of like the 2014 class. Lots of QBs, some high-end running backs, lots of wide receivers. So, and even some defensive players that can make a name for themselves, you know, like Bradley Chubb and uh, Denzel Ward, Derwin James. You know, I'm glad the Ravens really committed, at least hobby-wise. I'm glad. Ravens committed with Lamar Jackson. I guess reality football was good, good move too. You know, then you got Nick Chubb high in the second round. Darius Leonard, who won Defensive Rookie of the Year. You got Ronald Jones a second. Cortland Sutton. These are all second rounders. You know, Christian Kirk, Dallas Goddard, Anthony Miller. This is pretty, it's pretty strong. James Washington, Darius Geis. If he wasn't injured, Darius Geis could have been a big name in the hobby. So that's kind of a sleeper when you're collecting 2018 stuff. So it's pretty good. All right, next one. We got Willis McGahee tie-dye autograph. What I think about Kareem Hunt going to Cleveland, it was inevitable someone was going to take him. 11 out of 25. No, we got we got to Van Der Esch already. He was a he was a 19th overall pick. We already went through the first round. Yeah, v Van Der Esch is solid too. Future Sean Lee right there. Jersey Auto Kyle Aletta. Giants. That'll be for Bruce in Big Blue. There he is again to 199. There's Hayden Hurst to 99. Baker Mayfield to 199. No, nah, I thought there was going to be auto there, but no. Just a jersey, getting warmer. Aaron Fisher with the Cleveland Browns. Matt Whitaker thinks that uh, Marcus Davenport from the Saints is going to be great. Is James Washington to 199. Steel Curtain, Kirk Cousins, Russell Wilson out of 75. I, I like the, the shape of the die cuts this year. That'll be for Chris Parent and the Seahawks. Dante Pettis, Aaron Rodgers, 42 out of 49. Cortland Sutton, Tyree Kill, and Aaron Donald. I don't know. About Kareem Hunt, my, my thought is that you would think that it would that teams would take a little more time before I mean he could be on the commissioner's exempt list for the entire season, so. Who knows if he's going to see, even see a football field. But I thought teams would give him a little more time to see if he's kind of got his act together, taking the steps to, to you know, get to where he needs to be. You know what I mean? So I, I, I guess me personally, uh, I'm, you know, maybe the, maybe the Cleveland Browns vetted him and did all the, did all the work that they needed to do to feel comfortable about it. I figure I would have would have waited a little bit longer. There's the zebra parallel right there. That's generally one per case, from what I'm hearing. So I don't know. We'll 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 see. Has Kareem Hunt demonstrated enough enough personally to say he's ready to become professional again, a public figure again? I don't know. We'll see, but all right. Next box, there's Sony Michelle, 26 out of 99 jersey and autograph. That goes to Tim Cole and the Pats. There you go, Tim. Derek Henry to 99.
Ronnie Harrison for the Jags to 49. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the Browns GM did. Yeah, Gilo and Jeremy saying the Browns GM drafted him in Kansas City. So I guess there is some familiarity there. Out of 199. Was that Tony Michelle a jersey hit? Riffer, we never hit. We never hit the jersey number here. Is he 28 or 26? Is he 26? I don't know numbers. We pull big hits here at Jaspies, Riffer, but we usually don't hit jersey numbers. That's not our thing. We're kind of bad at that. You want monster hits? We got that for you. You want you want us to hit jersey numbers? Doesn't happen to us as often. All right, behind Tremaine Edmonds is Judge Ito Smith. Nice. The super short print going to Darren Porter and the Atlanta Falcons. Nice. There you go, Darren. And an out of five, Demarius Thomas. Train whistle autograph. That card is gold. That goes to Jeremy33 and the Texans. It's been a nice case. Jeremy, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There's Tyreek Hill out of 199. I did not see the zebra in the first half of that random break, but the second half is coming up, so we'll, I'm sure we'll see it there. There's Robbie Anderson, 52 out of 99. That'll be for the Jets, Jets, Jets. Preston with the Jets. There's Bradley Chubb to 99. And we only have two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. I think we made pretty decent time on this break. So it'll take me a minute or two to, to put this break away and print out labels and blah, blah, blah. But once we do that, we'll, we'll get the random team break going shortly after that. And then that impeccable basketball sold out as well. So I don't, I don't think no one else has mentioned if anything else is sold out, but around around 6.45 p.m. L.A. time, Los Angeles time, 9.45 East Coast time, 8.45 Central Coast time, Central Coast time, we'll be ready for our uh, whatever break fills up after that. So we can get it on the docket and get it going. So keep getting into the breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's book up the. We should book up the rest of the night. Let's keep selling out the breaks. There's Lamar Jackson tie die. Nice one out of twenty five for E A and the Ravens. That's a good. I'm gonna sleeve that. That's a good looking tie die. I'll look good on, save that for social media pics. Deshaun Watson, g -Lo saying Central Coast, Best Coast, he says. We've got Jay Novacek. I remember Jay Novacek, old cowboy, going to Jacqueline. Yeah, Matt, yeah, you're in Central Time. You're on You're on the Central Coast. There's Jay Novacek, 64 out of 64. I guess Central Coast in California means something else. That's where that's where Pebble Beach is. Royce Freeman, U.S. Open, golf U.S. Opens in Pebble Beach this year. I was thinking about maybe going, but then I figure there's not too many hotels there, and they're all like super expensive, fancy hotels. So probably probably already booked up. Eighteen out of seventy-five. Royce Freeman, Broncos. I guess technically you're Gulf Coast, but in my head. Central United States coast. There's D.D. Westbrook for the Jags. That'll be for Mark Livingston. And boom, there it is. Two-color patch and autograph, Baker Mayfield. The butcher, the baker, 
the candlestick maker going to Aaron Fisher and the Cleveland Browns. The dog pound, 4 out of 15. Nice low number there, too. Woo. Nice. Tom Brady to 75. 75 out of 75. He might play until he's 75. Big Ben Roethlisberger to 175. Joe Mixon, Mason Rudolph, the Red Nose Reindeer at the end. Last box coming up and then some randomizers. Hey, Michael Ho uh, Hobzek saying, I live in Cleveland. I'm a huge Browns fan. Just trying to keep, just trying to buy the Browns in every break you see. You should. It's a good good time to be a Browns fan. At some point, all of those like high first round picks had to pay off, right? You go up and down that depth chart. You got some strong depth on, on, on defense, on offense. There are weapons there. And, and it's really just the quarterback. That quarterback position was the, was the thing. You just kind of had to, that kind of ties everything up in a nice bow. Baker Mayfield does that. And now, some consistency on the coaching side of things. Some good coaching, I think, would help. A couple more years of that, next thing you know, you might see uh, you might see perennial playoffs for the Browns. Is that kind of crazy to say? Is that I know it just doesn't roll off doesn't roll off the tongue. Per Cleveland Browns perennial playoff contenders. Doesn't sound right. We might have to get we might have to get used to that. Another Lamar Jackson for EA. This time 22 out of 25. Which one looks nicer? The one out of 25 does look nicer. There's Josh Allen. 75 for the Bills. That'll be for Jeremy Merle. There's Quentin Nelson out of 199. Pro Bowler Quentin Nelson. There's Quincy Inunua, tie-dye and relic. 20 out of 25. You're welcome, EA. I, I imagine those tie-dyes, well, the tie-dyes from year to year always sell pretty well on a secondary market, even non-autoed ones. It's a nice uh, nice feature of Select. And I'm sure a guy like Lamar Jackson would sell pretty well, too. Jets, Preston with the Jets. There's Matty Ice to 175 for Darren Porter. There's Matty Ice to 199, Darren Porter. We got Mark Walton. I always like how Mark Walton makes, makes great use of the canvas. A little off sticker there, Mark, but I like the enthusiasm. That goes to the Bengals. Joseph Lorenk with the Cincinnati Bengals. Little cat team mojo towards the end. For, <coughs> excuse me, 49 out of 49. Got all choked up. Vaughn Miller. And we got Mark Schlereth. 18 out of 25. Nice Mark Schlereth autograph at the end for the Broncos. Kevin Smith with little Oppo Joe Mojo. All right. So, like I said earlier, name on top. We'll get all the XRC cards. And the second name will get all the points. That's a that's a decent amount of points right there. And we got a few nice. Uh, we got running back, first running back drafted, second quarterback drafted, second defensive player drafted. It's pretty good XRC cards there too. All right, so let's go back to the list. Right here, we got oh, to get Aaron Fisher down to Eric Leal. This should be a blank list. There we go. Some new dice. Yes. Let's randomize that list. Seven times, lucky seven, top two, get stuff. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. After seven times, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Morales, you get all the points, a thousand points. It's pretty good. And the name on top is EA, EA with all the XRC cards. EA, we'll have to watch the draft together and see what you end up getting. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.